Well, it looks like those IRS imposters are back at it. Calls threatening legal action are popping up on cell phones across Central Florida. In fact, one of our own News 6 employees was contacted on her personal cell phone last week. News 6 investigator Mike Holfeld has tonight's schemes and rip -offs. Nicole Ebaugh helps create the video ads about upcoming News 6 investigations. Well, last week, a message from Utica, New York, ended up on her cell phone. They called twice. Yeah, they're probably going to call again. Same spin? Same thing. The reason of this call is to inform you that the IRS is filing lawsuits against you. So they were actually threatening you? They were threatening that I was being sued. Nicole knew the drill and the IRS imposter scam, chronicled since the start of tax season by News 6 viewers and even veteran Congressman John Micah. There was a gentleman with an accent and uh, uh, making very threatening accusations. Of course, as a public official, the last thing you want to do is owe taxes. And to be clear, you don't owe any taxes. I don't owe any taxes. Her call showed up about dinner time last week from a 315 area code. So we wanted to call their bluff. But when Nicole dialed the number... The number you dialed is not a working number. Please check the number and dial again. The con men had erased the trail without a trace. So the intimidation falls short. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't see that one coming, did you? No. Listen, they dropped that number to avoid being tracked, but they're not on the run. In fact, you could get the next call. Remember, the IRS alerts you by mail. They will never threaten or demand money over the phone. Don't fall for it. It's probably a scam. Mike Holfeld, News 6.